This month feels how Irish rockers U2 sang in 1981. October and kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, but you go on and on. Well, I've got to go on and on. I thought it would be no Monday matters right here on Gary Stuff. Hello there, I'm Gary. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today, indeed, is Monday Matters. Now, as usual, I'll be having a quick look at what's caught my eye in the news of the week. I'll be catching up with what I've been up to on my bench. And, of course, I'll be introducing you to this week's featured kit of the week. All these bits come as chapters, so you can hop back and forward as your heart desires. Now, if you like what you see today, please do remember you can support the channel for free by subscribing. Make sure you hit the bell and you'll be notified of all my future content as it is published and of course anything on my channel that you like please do give it the old imperial thumbs up on that like button below because every like counts. A few things before we start first of all the raffle and the raffle for the 148 scale Nakon Phanom set from ICM with the B26 Counter Invader, the Cessna O2, all the crew figures, the armament pack and the steel matting. That was won by Gary Bull all the way over in Australia. Gary, that kit will be on its way to you very, very soon. I do hope you enjoy it when it gets there. The next raffle, incidentally, will start on the 4th of November, but I will bring you up to date closer to the time on what the kit is and a reminder of how to get involved in that. Secondly, of course, this coming Tuesday, it's the 15th, which means it's the third Tuesday of the month. I believe it's the earliest. It can be in the month of the 15th. So it's live stream time again. As usual, I'll be on stream from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. British summer time. That's 1900 to 2100 Zulu, if that means anything to you. There will be the usual mix of banter and chat. And of course, Nick's conundrum. Now this time, Nick has sent me something. First of all, it's in a different color packet, so that's really throwing throwing me off. It's in this very attractive lime green. And secondly, I've looked at the clue. I haven't the foggiest idea of what it's going to be. Um, maybe one or two of you might on the night. I don't know, but I'm I'm suspecting he's going for having to give more clues and clawing back some points against the audience there. I think it's going to be great fun. It normally is good, very good fun anyway, especially now with 100% more added Mikey Connolly as our moderator. I think it went very well last time. Mikey is uh, very generously giving up his time to be the moderator for me to point out guesses that come up and conversations and all that. It just takes a load off me to uh, host it. So thank you very much, Mikey. Hope you are looking forward to that as much as I am, mate. Um, don't, remember, don't forget, by the way... Um, I also do a thing with Mikey and with uh, John from Australia on uh, Mikey's channel, Building Veteran Creates, between two and four every Monday. It's just like a viewers round table. Tune in, ask some questions, make some comments, do what you like, really. Have a chat. It's all about model making. Come along, have a see what we're up to. Uh, just, yeah, catch up and have a, and that's a bit like an online club, really. Um, and there's no membership fees, it's just turn up and join in and have some fun if you can't catch it during the day catch it in the evening on replay and uh, see what we've all been up to so it's two till four in the afternoon today monday um every monday indeed okay on bearded veterans creates channel link as usual in the information box below and finally talking about clubs thursday this week is my club night at harrow modeling society if you're in sort of vaguely northwestish london area anywhere within easy reach of harrow why not come along and see what we all get up to have a chat do come over and say hi it's a very very friendly club indeed there'll be all sorts of interesting things on show there i am certain and loads of people with lots of really good knowledge do pop along it's uh eight till ten on thursday in the evening and it's at uh, st mary's harrow on the hill again more details in the information box below hope to see you there okay Let's crack on then with what I've seen that's caught my eye in the news of the week.
Armor Hobby has announced a new tooled kit of the Nakajima KI-43 Hayabusa in 172nd scale. Apologies for the pronunciation. The initial release will have three scheme options and, as is normal with Armor Hobby now, do expect extras like print at home resin detail parts to be available soon. Armor Hobby has also hinted at another completely new toolkit coming very soon, more as soon as I hear about it. Clear Prop Models has announced a new kit of the Levochkin Gordonov Gudkov LAGG3 in 148 scale. Should be an absolute belter, judging by their previous releases. Belgian company Gotha Force has announced a 132nd scale Fokker D7 kit coming soon. Three versions of the kit will be available for aircraft flown by aces Hans Jungwirth, Franz Büchner and Ernst Udet. Roden says it is making a 144th scale kit of the monster Convair XC99 transport. Based on the B36 bomber, this kit should have a span of just under half a metre, even at this scale. Also coming in 1144th is this Boeing Poseidon from Academy, due out early next year. LEM Kits has a new conversion set that allows you to combine two 132nd scale BF109s into a single BF109Z. This is designed for the Trumpeter BF109F kit. Few new things being shown off by Trumpeter recently. First, test builds of the forthcoming Fairy Battle and Fairy Barracuda kits, both in 148 scale. The Barracuda shows its fairy young man flaps stowed ready for wing folding. I can't help feeling airfix and Mr. Trick by not having these before. Then there is a 1 16th scale kit of the Nashorn anti-tank vehicle. I've not seen this referenced anywhere before. Also a new 1 16th King Tiger with the 105mm gun proposed by Krupp but which I don't think actually went into production. And finally from Trumpeter there's a look at the much anticipated USS Fletcher destroyer in one two hundredth scale. IPG Models has revived its Scammell Pioneer tank transporter kit from two years ago, but has now combined it with a Crusader Mark I or Mark II tank, all in one seventy second scale. And finally, Triumph Models has this new one seven hundredth scale kit of the Battle Cruiser HMS Lion. Amazingly detailed, this comes with loads of 3D printed and photo etched parts and turned brass gun barrels. <music> On my bench this week, well, uh, for personal reasons, I've not been able to do an awful lot on my bench, just been pottering here and there on various projects. I've made a little bit of progress on my Tiger Moth, for example. I've uh, built the fuselage of the P-40 in 148 scale from Airfix, which has gone together very nicely. And I've also built the fuselage of my Matchbox Halifax kit, which is great fun as well. Um, I've actually painted figures for all three of them. It's unusual. I don't normally do figures, but for some reason on all three of these kits, I've decided to do the figures as well. So that's taken a little bit of time. It's quite cathartic and quite um, quite relaxing to paint figures. I find to paint figures. Really pleased with the one in the P40, by the way, as you'll find out when eventually I get around to doing the build video. Um, other than that, of course, I did the box review of last week's kit of the week, which was the Airfix Bristol Beaufort 1A in 172nd scale. Um, it's a nice kit and something I'm looking forward to building, but I was a little disappointed with some damage to a couple of the, part, the fuselage parts basically down to bad packaging, bad packing by someone in the factory. Uh, they cleverly designed the frames to have protective fins so the fuselage bits don't get damaged. But if you put the bits in the package in the wrong way, then they're going to get damaged anyway. And that's pretty much what happens. So either I'll get some replacements from Airfix or, or I'll fix them. I don't know which yet. Um, it's also interesting that when I first built this three years ago, I thought the interior detail was really good. And I'm looking at it now thinking, Do you know what, it's just that little, just that little bit soft compared with some other kits, and indeed some other FX kits as well. So 
I don't know whether it's the mould or the design or the plastic they use now or whatever, but it is quite interesting after three years or three and a bit years of doing this, how more discerning, let's say, you become. Maybe demanding, I'm not sure which it is, just older and more fussy. Whatever it is, I'm sure I will make a lovely job of it when I do get around to building it, which won't be too long, I hope. Then there was, of course, the uh, announcement of the reintroduction of the FX Anson in 148 scale with three new decal schemes. Um, one's for Portugal, uh, the Royal Navy and the Hellenic Air Force in Greece. Um, it's good to see it back in the range. It's a beautiful, beautiful kit to make. I'm very excited that it's back. I will be getting one. I will be making one, but I've got some grand plans for my Anson. Um, which I'll tell you about if they work, and it will take quite some time before they'll be av available to show. I suspect maybe in time for Telford next year, definitely not this year. So that's all jolly good. Um, what else? I've been working on a few other things in the background, pottering, as I say, in the background, just doing bits and pieces, but nothing I'm filming for the channel, but I will show them to you when they're completed. Anyway, one thing I do need to get on with is this week's featured kit of the week, which is the Messerschmitt BF 110 Tropical in 172nd scale from FX. Now, the BF 110 is something I have not done since I was very young, and that's a long, long time ago. It came as part of a dogfight double set. So I'd be really interested to see how different the two kits are uh, when I can finally get around to making this. Um, there are going to be some more box reviews in the week and uh, one or two other things I'm sure will pop up. How will you know what comes and when it arrives? Well, best thing to do is to subscribe to the channel. That way, if you then hit the bell, you'll be notified of all my content as it is published. And of course, anything you like on my channel, please do give it the old imperial thumbs up on that like button below because every like counts. That's it for this week. Thank you so very much for joining me. Hope to see you on the channel again very soon. Take good care now and goodbye.